it's one of those amazing summer days. It's nice out, you can go outside, you can do so many things. Just freedom in general on a summer nice day. While so many people are taking advantage of this, I'm 10 years old. And I'm sitting in my room playing Fortnite. I'm playing Fortnite, I'm 1v1ing one of my friends. And as I'm just destroying him, because I, I was actually kind of cracked that Fortnite, as I was destroying him, I hear my dad calling me. My dad calls me and says, like, oh, like, speak, people need your help. People need my help as a 10-year-old. Like, what? what does that even mean? So then I go out. I say, like, oh, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be right back. And then I put my headphones down. I walk in the living room, and I look out the window. I look out the window, and there's seven complete randoms outside just waiting for me, calling my name, Timothy. Like, I, I remember, like, when, used to play video, when I used to play video games, like, there, there was this term, like, randos, like, just complete randos that, like, nobody cares about, nobody knows. And that's what I completely thought it was. I just saw seven random people just sitting in the front of my porch front of front entrance of my house and then they're all s shouting my name timothy timothy like where are you and i was just actually panicking i had no idea what was going on like because i didn't even answer the door i didn't even do anything for like a straight minute like i just hoped they would leave or something and my parents actually just thought like are you okay like do you know these people like are they bullies from your school and, and I was like, no, I, like, I just don't even know who they are. Like, I remember I saw like one of them at school, but everyone else I had no idea. I had no idea who the freak they really were. So after waiting seconds after seconds, 60 seconds, 120 seconds, 180 seconds, just me sitting there and just these, like, they're not leaving. They're not going to leave. I have to open the door. I have to say something. So my mom opens the door and... I'm looking at all seven of them. And I honestly have no idea what's about to happen, but I, I just want to go back to playing Fortnite. And they say to me to stop sweating in Fortnite. Apparently, those were the people that I was playing with in my Fortnite games, but they were actually just, they literally just pulled up to my house. And told me to stop sweating in Fortnite. And then at the moment I was just like, oh my gosh, these mother freakers, bro. <laughs> and then I, I, I smile and stuff. Like, I'm, I'm honestly nervous. I'm awkward. It's like, it's weird. I'm not even saying anything really. And then in the back of the crowd, in the back of the seven people, just in my front door, I see one person in the back and it's actually someone I know. Actually someone I talk to. And I'm like, okay, that makes so much more sense. And, and now my parents think that like they're bullies and stuff and they like pulled up to my house want to do stuff to me but no they just wanted to check in my house and like they actually asked me if i wanted to go on a walk here but and i obviously said no because i wanted to just play fortnite i wanted to sweat some more in fortnite so they leave my mom tells me like if you want to deal with awkward situations just say no or something like that just give me some lesson about i'm in complete cringe I'm about to take a shower because I'm just so sweaty. Like, I wasn't even, like, presentable. I, I was wearing some random pajama shirt I wore, like, 10 days in a row. Some random shorts. I was just not ready for that at all. And I feel like that's such a valuable thing that we can learn from this little story thing that happened in my life. That you should be prepared for moments like those. You should be prepared for some random social situation where seven, maybe not like seven people pull up to your house, but some random moments in your life. Like if this happens, if this opportunity happens in your life, if this girl comes up to you, if this thing happens, if this person tells you if you want to do this thing, like random situations like that, that like if you were asked, if you were to ask yourself right now, would you be prepared for moments like those moments where you would instantly have to like have some social conversation where you would instantly have to like, I don't know, like do, do 10 pull-ups to die to survive. Just random moments like those. Would you be prepared for those moments, for those opportunities? Because there will eventually be 
an opportunity in our life where we do have the chance to do something. We do have the chance to go on a walk with seven other friends. We do have a chance to try this thing. We do have a chance to do a lot of things in our life. Are you ready for that opportunity? Or have you been just kind of slacking a bit? Just not really wanting to do anything, just sticking to playing Fortnite, sticking to watching YouTube videos over and over again. Are you trying to avoid the thing you really need to do? So what would you do if seven people showed up to your house? Could you handle that? Could you add the skills to pay the bills? If not, then start developing those skills right now. Because a moment like that, an opportunity like that is going to happen. I don't know why. I feel like opportunity is like a positive thing. But like seven people showing up to your house is probably not a positive thing. So there, there is going to be moments in your life where something can happen from it. Some experience, some knowledge, some lesson is going to happen in your life. And are you going to utilize that to the most, basically? So yeah, really think about this, bro. Like... Is there something you've been kind of slacking off on that you've gotten so many chances to do? You got so many times to work out. You got so many times to do this. Like you thought about it so many times, but you're like, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not going to work out today. No, no. Like, have you thought of so many things that you could have been able to do, but you really haven't because you just kind of like, okay, I'll do this later or something. There's an opportunity right now to change your life and actually do the things you know are right. Use that opportunity the right time this time don't be scared don't be nervous don't be awkward don't sweat don't go back to playing fortnite and sweating at the thing that you always do actually try to make a change in your life because you're if you're watching this it's 2024 bro let's go let's lock in bro lock in bro 2024 2024 oh. so yeah anyways if you want a moment where you can practice your social skills or you know Prepare yourself for moments like that. Hold yourself more accountable too. Join my Discord community in the description. I'll be in there sometimes. We can DM, we can call, we can talk. We can level up our skills all together. And it's honestly a great place to be in. So yeah, just join, like chat every every now and then. Like, you know, get a good conversation, talk to this one person. You know, it's just like a nice place you can be. So yeah, found this video helpful or interesting. Click this video right here. You found the right channel, bro. Subscribe. Peace. I, I, I feel like I'm terrible with outros, bro. I'm not even going to lie. But yeah. At least I'm trying, I guess. What, what am I 